and today we are on day 15 of the Stronger Than Excuses 30 day challenge. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. This, this means we are halfway after this workout, which I'm very excited about. So today is going to be full body. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, I'll tell you exactly what the next movement is. Now I'm going to be using a few different pairs of dumbbells. I have some 10s, 15s, and 25 pound dumbbells. Remember to use the weight that is best for you. Remember to challenge yourself. Go heavy when you can. No more sticking with just fives, just tens. If you have the choice available to you and you can keep perfect form, go heavy. It's worth it. It builds awesome, strong, awesome, awesome muscle. I said awesome a lot because it is just that. All right, so let's go ahead and get warmed up. All right, guys, let's start it out by bouncing it out. Nice and easy and adding some punches if you feel like it. Getting those shoulders too. Some of you are gonna be like, well, this is also getting my coordination. Yes, very true. <laughs> Three. And butt kickers. So bring those knees in front slightly and then kick that booty and back. When I first did butt kicks, I thought it was like this. <laughs> but you want to make sure you bring your knees up slightly too. Three, two, one, and feet out wide. Let's have our hands on our hips. We're going to go in some SpongeBob circles. SpongeBob circles. <laughs> Keep your back nice and flat. Getting those hips. Let's go one more and then go the other way. All the way around. Nice job, guys. Let's go two more. Last one. And go ahead, shake it out. Jumping jacks. Touching the hands to the top. Jumping feet out wide. Keep it going, guys. Today's gonna be fun. I know it is. I love this kind of stuff. into a plank position, press into down dog, and bring it back into a plank. So we're going to follow the format that we do in our live workouts together on those Fridays, where we alternate between cardio and strength, and at the end we're going to have an ab burnout. So get ready for it. Let's go one more, and then stay here and go ahead and bicycle those feet out. Getting those calves. Keep it going, guys. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Come down to the knees. We're going to get those wrists. So have your hands out to the side, acting like a seal here. <laughs> side to side. Because we will be doing movements in a plank positions. And so I want to make sure you guys have your wrists nice and ready for that. And then go ahead and sit back. A few wrist circles here, keep your elbows together. We're not going like this, even though it looks kind of cool, right? <laughs> and go the other way. Do kids these days do that anymore? I don't even know. Oof. Three, two, one. From here, we're going to take that right leg and bring it out into different directions. So we're opening up that hip, so you might feel a stretch in those inner and outer thighs. Different directions. If you need to, you can always come up to a stance and lunge in different directions if this isn't for your knee. And let's switch sides. But if you've been with me through this challenge so far, you know, this was up. We got that movement, movement flow going. And nice job. Go ahead and bring it back up. Bounce it. Woo, skaters. Side to side. Working those lateral movements, getting that heart rate back up. If you need a tap behind you, you totally can. If you want to make it harder, tap that ground. Keep it up, guys. And tap. Woo. Let's go three more. Last two. One more. And go ahead and stabilize on that right leg. From here, we have swivels. So keep your core nice and strong. We are stabilizing. Get some nice hip mobility here. You can make it harder by sinking down. Keep your chest up. Keep stabilizing. The bigger the circle, the faster the circle, the more challenging. And switch. So we're warming up that leg. Yes. I love this. I love stability work. So important to work. Part of fitness. 
go two more. Last one. And shaky, shaky. We're almost done with the warm up. Toes facing out. Keep your chest up, back flat. Sink down, come up to the tippy toes. Sink it and come up. Try to get to at least 90 degrees for those legs. Make sure you're not hyperextending the spine. We don't need to squeeze our butt and our hips so much that we push our torso out like that or our bottom half like that. Just nice little squeeze. Let's get two more. Sink it. Last one. And nice job, guys. We're going to finish up with some high knees so we get that heart rate up, get it ready for the chaos to come. Drive it up, up, up. Together, chest up. We're going to sink down. You're going to switch at the top. And that's it. You know, coordination, cardio, strength, all that fun stuff. Let's go. Remember to keep your chest up. You don't have to touch the ground. Back is nice and flat. And keep it going, guys. I'm using a 15 pound dumbbell here. Feel free to use again. Whatever weight is best for you, just want to make sure I'm pushing myself. Whew. Keep going, guys. Oh, we're strong. I think that's important to remember. You are strong. Five, four, three, two, and done. Whew. Okay, push presses are next. So not quite regular shoulder presses. But we're going to use our lower body to help press the weight up. So not quite a squat. Sink down and press. Squeeze your butt. Let's go. Inhale down. Exhale up. Nice job. Yay. I have my palms facing towards each other. Elbows are in. So this move will allow you to push a little bit more weight than you might normally be able to for regular shoulder presses. Thanks, lower body. <laughs> Keep going. Oh my goodness. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. <laughs> So I hope you did, you caught your breath a little bit. Star jump burpee. So we're gonna come down, burpee, ball up, star jump. Do a jumping jack if you need to. You don't have to go chest to floor. Let's go. All the way down, ball it up, and jump. And up. Keep rocking it, guys. We had a nice rest day yesterday for day 14. So hopefully you are recovered for this. Almost there. We're going to go back to strength after this. Five, four, three, two, hi. Okay. So next up, I'm going to grab my 10 only. Have it in my right hand. From here, bring my left leg over. Side lunge. Stabilize. Side raise. All right, let's go. Same leg, same arm. Woo. If you need a tap down, you can totally do that. And up. Push your butt back. Sink mid foot to heel on that, on that left foot. Back is flat. Getting inner and outer thighs. Getting quads. Getting the lateral part of that shoulder, which is that awesome cap. Yes. Who doesn't love that cap? <laughs> I for one love it. <laughs> and done. Okay. 
So before we go to the other side, remember which side that you're on. All right, do two jumping jacks and two or four plank jacks. So one, two, jump into a plank, and you got four plank jacks. All right, get ready. Let's go. One, two, come down. One, keep your core strong, hands under the shoulders. One, two, all the way. Keep it up, guys. You already know the next movement. So you guys are ready for that. Yes. One, two, 20 seconds. Three, four. Finish it out. Last 10. Two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Three, two, and one. Okay. So next step, you already know it, <laughs> other side. So I'm gonna grab the dumbbell on my left hand. I'm gonna lunge over with my right foot. <sighs> so we can catch your breath. <laughs> All right, let's go. Over, push your butt back, come up, whoop, stabilize, and then add the raise. <sighs> now remember, you don't need to raise it over your shoulder. So don't, you don't have to go all the way up here. Otherwise, by then we lose it for that lateral deltoid. Deltoid. Just sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> lateral part of your shoulder. Keep rocking it, guys. 10 seconds. Whew. Whew. Breathe. Three, two, and done. Okay. So next up is standing mountain climbers. This one, it does take coordination. Remember, coordination is part of fitness. So try your best. Do high knees if you need to. Opposite hand, opposite leg. That's it. <laughs> Awkwardly climbing a mountain. Yeah, let's go. I always picture like a scene in Game of Thrones when they're climbing the wall. <laughs> and then like, you just CGI me doing this. Keep going, guys. Nice job. We're over halfway. Keep pushing it. And remember, we have a strength move after this. Stay with me. Ten seconds. Finish it out. Three, two, and done. So next up, curtsy calf raise and swivel. So I'm gonna grab my 25. I'm gonna stabilize on my right leg. From here, curtsy, calf raise, swivel just like in the warm up. Curtsy, calf raise, swivel. Yeah. <laughs> so we got glutes, quads on this right side. We have core <laughs> as we stabilize, and we have calves as we raise it. <sighs> Keep challenging yourself with those weights. I'm gonna grab my mat after this. It's right there. I'm like, okay, I can do this, 15 seconds. <laughs> we have a roll back and eight ankle taps. Some of you may know what that means. Some of you, just watch, watch it. Okay, remember not to roll on your neck or your head. So your roll back, come up, eight ankle taps. If you need to, use a weight in front of you to roll back and bring yourself up. You can also use your hands. Let's go. Woo. And roll up. Two, three, five, six, eight. We're gonna have that curtsy. After this, make sure you tuck your knees in. Don't straighten out your legs or you'll lose momentum. You want to have a nice curve in that back. <laughs> Keep going. Roll up. Finish it out. Roll. Five, four, three, two. Okay, 
So, I'm gonna bring this out. We don't need it yet. For a little bit. Okay, curtsy. Double on the left hand, stabilizing my left leg, chest facing forward. Let's go. Curtsy, calf raise, and swivel. Breathe. One side might be more challenging. Keep your core strong and take your time. Okay. Yes. Finish it out, guys. Up and breathe. Step raise. Oh my goodness. Chest up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. So, all right, guys. Next up, we have a an imaginary jump rope. So what you're gonna do is do four kickouts. One, two, three, four. Double under. So you really want to drive up and pretend you have one, two on that jump rope. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, and up. One, two, three, four. And up. Whew. So that means you have to jump higher. You gotta pretend that you have a jump rope that you gotta go under two times before hitting the ground. So pretend you're an awesome CrossFitter. Tia Toomey, David's daughters, wherever you wanna be. Maybe some mat. to stagger push-ups. A lot going on here. If you need to stick with regular push-ups, go for it. If you're with me, you go narrow, wide, two staggered. All right. <laughs> Get ready. Let's go. So, narrow. You can step out for the wide. Bring one hand up. Keep your neck neutral. Remember, this is a video. So, if you don't get it down right away, rewind it. Pause it, learn it. New ways to challenge ourselves, new ways to get stronger and more awesome. Keep your core strong, keep your glutes strong. You wanna come down as one unit and come up as one unit. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so we're back to cardio. Next up, we're gonna have high knee kickouts. So if you can only do high knees, that's okay. Stick with those. But if you're with me, you're gonna drive your knee up and kick. It's quite a bit. <laughs> All right, let's go. I recommend leaning back slightly. I know it's awkward, especially if you have long legs. I have like medium size legs. <laughs> I feel a bit of the awkwardness. Keep it up, guys. 20 seconds. Yes. We got it. Strong is 
said, if I'm tired, I can go so much, so much more. And I want you guys to do that too. All right, narrow squat, lateral bounds. So have your feet close together. We're gonna go to the side and side. Let's go. If you don't have room to move forward, just move side to side. Use your arms. Keep it up, guys. Back is flat. It's not a squat, so you don't have to go down super far. Just turn your going platform to platform. Nice job, guys. Strong thoughts. Strong thoughts. 10 seconds. Start off, I'm going to start off on my left side. 
I'm gonna do 10 lateral high knees. So, bring it up, blah, 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 10 times. Once you reach the other side, squat touchdown, just like in the warm up, except no weights. Okay, let's go.
Don't show your weakness. We're good. <laughs> okay. So, get ready. Rears out fly, baby. All right, let's go. Bring it out. Start here. Keep going, guys. We're so close to being done. We're over halfway. So don't stop. Do not quit on me. Because we're in this together. And guess what? Oh, saying I'm tired? I'm stronger than my excuses. I got this. That's why I called this workout, this challenge, that name. Because we're stronger than all of that stuff that we tell ourselves. We're so capable. Three, two, one. Okay, so next up, three plank twists. Oh, oh, I see what I did there. Oh, well, this isn't quite cardio, but it's okay. Strength, one, two, three. From here, single leg push up, and then we'll switch. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Hover, tricep push up, switch. Three. So tricep push-up means we have our elbows in, right next to the body, chafing danger zone, <laughs> as I like to call it. Two. I goofed a little. Admittedly, I accidentally deleted this workout, so whatever we had planned initially is gone. <laughs> I wrote it, and I was switching days. I copy and paste it. And I accidentally hit control C again instead of paste. It was it was rough. It was a rough time. <laughs> so I was a little bit wonky when I wrote this. Okay, so we're gonna have dumbbells into a figure eight. They're just next to each other. From here, face forward. Try not to cross the feet. Watch it. Again, try not to cross the feet. Always face forward if you're scared of stepping on it, just pretend that you have dumbbells. We're working agility, which is part of fitness. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Oh, we're doing so good. But when I deleted that workout, it was like a oh no. But I just got back to work then on creating a new one for us because there's nothing else I could do. So why add extra stress and being sad about it, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna come down. This one, so fun. Lay on your side from here, be on your form. I'm gonna stack it, press up, leg up, kick, and back down. Okay, press, kick. So you should really feel this in the glute on the top leg, but also in that hip, on the bottom, and kick. Keep going, and kick. Yes. We are not done with cardio yet, so don't get too comfortable. Sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> sorry that I'm not sorry. I just want to give you a great workout. 10 seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, high knee skips is next. So I'm gonna just bring these over here. If you wanna see with high knees, you can. What you're gonna try to do is though, is hook across that body to the opposite side of me, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. And hook, drive that knee up. This is awesome because it's core and cardio and coordination. The three C's, some of my favorite movements <laughs> come from those three C's. After this, we're gonna do the other leg Whew. for that sideline movement. Keep it up, guys. Oh my goodness. Closer. 
So you can see me a little bit better. Okay. Hi. Oh, well, this is pretty together. I'm like a watermelon. That's nice. <laughs> it's the little things. Hey, that's swell. Up. It's snowing today. So there's a big snow plow. Sorry for the noise. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not filming in my garage anymore, my mom's garage. That was, that was funny. Whew. Up and kick. Keep it up, guys. Up. So it's little things like that to be grateful for. It's like, hey, I'm warm right now in this cold weather outside. That is definitely something to be very grateful for. Up and back down. Finish it. And we're going to go back to cardio. <laughs> Are you surprised? All right, guys, we're on our last 10 circuits. We have four high knees, four outside high knees, and these are so awkward, but I felt like putting them in. So one, two, three, four, outside, two, three, four. Woo! <laughs> three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. You might feel silly. Guess what? I do too. Gym shark online. <laughs> it's always that. 
<laughs> no, not always. <laughs> okay, I'm getting goofy. We're gonna do the other side. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. Stay with me. Okay, let's go. And all the way down. Whew. This side might be more challenging if you're not as stable. Just take your time. We only have five moves after this. So jazzed. I'm so jazzed. <laughs> Today is Saturday when I'm filming. I also know it's Saturday date. So we always have our date day. <laughs> Very fun. Usually ends up being we get food somewhere, pick it up, <laughs> go back home, eat, play video games. Oh, all right. It's a great day. Okay, so feet out wide, we're gonna go with upper body circles. This is one of my favorites. What you're gonna do here is go away all the same way in a circle. I'll tell you when to switch halfway. Okay. Nice job, guys. Almost that stretch. We are gonna get it. We got this. We're strong. We are amazing. We're gonna push through. And go the other way. Halfway already. All the way around. Press that belly button into the ground. Last 10. Oh, baby. <laughs> and four, three, two, and done. Okay. So we're going to flip it over into a plank, hands under the shoulders. Then we're going to keep your butt down, but not hyperextending the spine. We're going to twist the opposite side, elbow, then the same side, and then back. Okay? Okay. Let's go. So twist, over, and back. Twist, over, and back. Twist, over, and back. Try to reach as far as you can, whether that be touching the elbow or not. We're all in different areas in our fitness journey. <laughs> oh. Whew. Whew. Okay. Arr. Finish it. 15 seconds. And then we only have three moves. That's nothing. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and done. Darn. Okay, so next up we have four small rocks and then a hollow hold. If you need to stick with the rocks, that's totally okay. Hollow hold's a little bit more challenging. Keep your knees in. One, two, pretend that's four. On the last one, you're gonna come up. Okay, let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, one more. Four, bring it up. One, two, three, four, and up. Strong. Yes, we got this. Last 20. One, two. These rocks, though, so funny because I was demoing them in class and I called them dying bug. I called them dead bug at first. And I was like, nah, nah, this is done. <laughs> and everyone laughed at the movement, and I'm like, just wait until you do it. <laughs> and then no one was laughing except for me. <laughs> so we're gonna come to our forearms. And from here, would you like to come to my boot camp? <laughs> Super fun. <laughs> okay, and we're just gonna tap out to the side and really tap it out as far as you can so we hit those obliques. <sighs> okay. Sometimes you just need that extra breath of. Readiness. Keep it up. One move after this, and it's not like too taxing or anything. So this is probably the last intense move. The next one is really, really important to incorporate into training. It's a beginner movement, but we don't want to get rid of those beginner movements. It's gonna strengthen our lower back. 10 seconds. Ooh, okay, we got this. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, last one. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. 
for a dog extension. So you're really going to extend, reach, 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 and then come back and switch. Okay. Let's go. Reach, reach, reach. My bangs are doing this really weird thing where they're like curling up front and I feel like a, like a 90s kid. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Boy Meets World right now. <laughs> Great style, cat. Try to be more of a Topanga. <sighs> 20 seconds. And then we're stretching and we're going to have our mini guided meditation to strengthen our minds after our bodies. And you're off to have an amazing day. And I'll see you on day 16. Ooh. Pass that home soon. Three, two, and done. Done! We are done! All right, guys. So let's come down to the ground. Lay on our backs. Bring both knees in and rock into a circle. If you need to go, please do like the video before you go. Comment, even if it's just emoji, if that's all you have time for. Or also, and, and also, subscribe if you haven't already. And then go the other way with that circle. And then let's go ahead and drop that left leg. Keep that right knee in the chest and feel free to add some ankle circles here. And then go the other way. And let's take that right leg and we're going to cross over that body, extend the right arm to the right, look over your right shoulder. This should feel amazing on that right side and that glute, especially in that spine too, especially if you have to sit for your job. And go ahead, bring it back. Let's switch sides, left knee and that chest this time in Paul. Go ahead and add some ankle circles if you are feeling up for it. And then let's go ahead and cross that leg over the body, extend left arm to the left, look over your left shoulder. Let's bring it back to center. Nice job. Arms overhead, big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. As you exhale, come on up. Reach towards those feet. Keep a nice flat back. As far as you can reach with that flat back, then collapse into it, and you can add some side to sides. And go ahead, slowly roll it up. Whew. All right, let's take that right leg, that right foot, and we're going to cross it over. Really hug it in with the left arm, and then left Sorry. Right arm is over in back of you. Big inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist and turn. And go ahead and switch sides. Really pull in that hip. Twist and turn. And go ahead, bring it back to center. Nice job. Let's flip it over onto a, into a tabletop. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Walk those hands forward onto the fingertips. Feel free to add some pulses side to side, so whatever feels good for those shoulders. Really bring your chest as low to the ground as you can. And go ahead, place those elbows on the ground. Clasp your hands in the prayer and bring it back of the head. Dig those elbows in the ground and push your hips back. So you feel this in the triceps. And then bring it forward. Nice job. All right, flip it back around. Fingertips facing towards the feet. We're gonna stretch out front of the shoulder as well as those biceps. So tuck your chin in your chest, bring it up. You can add some side to sides. Go as far as you can without too much strain. I feel the stretch in my biceps as well as, again, front of the shoulder. And you can rest and then come back up. And go ahead, come down. Nice job. 
All right, so from here, crisscross applesauce. Let's take that left arm across the body and pull, look over that left shoulder. Relax that shoulder, make sure it's not hiked up towards the chin, not stressing out that trap. Go ahead and switch sides. Nice job, shake it out. All right, relax your neck entirely when you do this movement, please, 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 and then clasp your hands. Bring them to the back of that head, not, not the neck, right above it. Elbows in, tuck the chin and chest, pull down gently. I feel this all the way down my spine. Breathe. And then slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let your neck be the last thing to come up. And once it is, feel free to add some side to sides here. Very gentle, bring your breath back to normal. And let's go ahead and uh, you can lay down for this guided meditation, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm going to be here in crisscross applesauce if you guys want to join me. Grow tall on that spine. Close those eyes, big inhale. Exhale. You guys are going to cycle through breaths while I talk you through this. All right, guys, so we made it halfway through our challenge. And even if you are just starting out in this challenge and decided to do day 15, because it's two years in later, that's totally cool too. But I want you to take this time where we really just replenish our energy and our minds. And take this time for ourselves to restore anything we need to. Because like I said today, I was feeling tired so sometimes we just need a moment of peace, of silence, of kindness to ourselves in order to bring that energy, that love back to us to keep us going throughout our days. Because some of you are parents, some of you are teachers, some of you have a job that's so taxing, you always give, give, give. But it's time for you to just take it in for yourself and take some time for yourself and give yourself some loving thoughts so I want you to think of three loving thoughts towards yourself, whether it's something you like about yourself, whether it's just giving yourself words of encouragement that you're strong, whether it's recreating your identity that you've given to yourself. I made a vlog about that, how we can create our identities and make ourselves stronger, and become the people, that person that we want to be, that we want our younger selves to look up to and to be proud of becoming. So go ahead, three things that you can think of First thing, big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Last thing, big inhale. Exhale all the air in your lungs. And go ahead, slowly open your eyes, shaky, shaky awake. Clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale up. And exhale, rush, bar, rush, bar, rush, bar. We are done for today, yay! Thank you guys so much, we have passed the hump. We are on day 16 after this, and it is going to be a lower body strength workout, so no cardio at all, so you get a little break. Prepare your lungs, <laughs> all of that jazz. Um, please do like the video before you go. It really helps out my video as well as commenting. Both of those things show YouTube that it's like wanted, it's liked, and it should be shown to more people, which helps out my channel. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you want to support my channel, I have a link down in my description with purple hearts next to it. It says support my channel. Anything and everything is so greatly appreciated. And I just want to take this time to thank you again for choosing to... Um, just spend your time with me and to also spend time on improving yourself because it's so, so important to do and take the time to really focus on bringing that energy and that love and that strength back to you. So keep telling yourselves, even if you don't feel it, you can trick your mind into thinking like, I am strong, I am not tired, I am awesome, I am energetic, I am, um, that it just, it helps so much and it really helps me through this workout and through days in my life where I'm just like so just zony <laughs> all right so thank you again so much i will see you guys tomorrow all right